As we've seen in the fishing reports, the walleye fishing is starting to go down in several lakes. However, the whitefish chain is one lake where the walleye bite hasn't even peaked yet. That's where we head in this week's Gone Fishing. The whitefish chain is connected by 12 different lakes on the Pine River. Whitefish was once divided into three separate lakes. This was used as a way of diverting water for the Mississippi River. And so basically what happened is uh, Army Corps came in in the 1800s and they dammed up uh, by Cross Lake the uh, Pine River and it slowly backfilled into everything that you see here. Now Whitefish Lake is more than 7,300 acres and has more than 28 miles of shore length. A lot of deep water up here. Um, spring comes very late to this lake. Uh, if you get into lower whitefish, we'll have expanses of a mile, two, almost three miles where it'll be 100, 120 feet deep water. Because of the deep water, the temperature in the lake is very cold early on in the year. But when the weather starts to warm up, the chain becomes one of the hottest fishing spots in the area. For most of the other lakes, you know, they have their big hurrah in May and, and they kind of peter out by the time June comes. A lot of times this lake is a sleeper that wake itself up in July. The bite will always start in upper whitefish first because right through the um, narrows over here is actually where the Pine River is and that will bring warmer river water into this body of water. And even though the weather wasn't the greatest today, we still proved that we could catch fish even before the peak of the bite. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.